Hey guys, I'm looking for a good set of spotlight light bars for my truck. So I'm going to test out two different kinds of light bars, figure out which one I like best, then I'm going to order another one. So I've got a set, put those on my truck. Now I've got two different kinds to compare. This one has the 5 watt Philips LEDs, special fisheye lens, gives you a really good spot beam. I've already tried out a bigger one of these, really happy with it, it works great. This style I've never tried out before. This has Cree LEDs, but it's got a special 3D lens in there that's supposed to give you a good spot beam also. So we're going to try these two out, see which one I like best. Now you might be wondering why I would compare a 6 LED light bar to a 12 LED light bar. And you'd think maybe something like this might be a better comparison, 12 versus 12. But because this light bar has the 5 watt LEDs in it, this is a 30 watt light bar. This has 3 watt LEDs, so it's only a 36 watt light bar. So in wattage, they're both pretty close to the same. And I've already tested this light bar out. It's a really good light bar. But these two, I think, are going to make a much better comparison. Close to the same size, close to the same wattage. So we're going to try these two out, see which one we like best. All right, let's take a closer look. And like I said, they are both ox beam light bars, both 7.5 inches wide. Now the Cree, like I said, if you can see down in there, they've got a special 3D lens over the LED. It's supposed to give you a good spot beam. You can see those special fisheye lenses on the Phillips. You can actually see the LED in the background amplified by that lens. That's pretty cool. The mounting's a little different too. The Cree's got a single single stud in the middle adjustable up and down and if you need it for some reason this is adjustable side to side too in case you need it slightly offset the ox beam's got these nice stainless steel legs you can put it in any one of those three holes for how high you want it you can even cut it off if you want to put it in the bottom hole cut the top of it off pretty versatile now they both look like really good solid well made lights so I don't think I'll have any problems with quality or anything like that. Look like they're sealed up real good. Got all your cooling fins there. Mounting hardware looks good. This one especially. This just looks really well made. I really like this light bar. And I mentioned in my last video when I did the bigger version of this one how much I like the fact that the cooling fins are on the bottom. That way if you mount it on a four-wheeler or razor or something like that and you get all your mud piled up it's not going to clog up your cooling fins. It's not going to make the light overheat. I do like that a lot. Well, all right. Now we just got to wait for it to get dark so we can try them out. Now, one thing you might notice different about my videos than other people's, I notice a lot of people will just read you word for word what it says on the website, whether at eBay or Amazon or whatever. They'll just read you all the specs, what the waterproof rating is, how many lumens, all that good stuff. And I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you can read. So you don't need to hear me read you all that stuff. I'd rather show you what they actually look like, give you my impression of them, and show you how they actually work. Alright, first up we'll take a look at the Cree light bar. We are 25 yards away from this barn. You can see it has a pretty good bright spot beam. Now I've already tested one of the Phillips light bars before, so I already know ahead of time that's got a much more focused spot beam than this does, but this is still a pretty good spot beam. It's not a flood light, but it gives you a lot of flood lighting and a pretty good spot beam all in one. Alright, now we'll take a look at the Phillips. That's like night and day. That is just a perfectly focused spot beam. Not nearly as much flood lighting though, so it all depends on what you want. I mean, if you want that really good spot beam, then by all means, this is the light for you. But if you want a pretty good spot beam and quite a bit of flood lighting all in one package, well, you might want to go with the Cree. And that thing just, it's amazing how focused that beam is. Now that's at 25 yards. We're going to go ahead and back it up a little bit, see what it looks like from further away. Now here's something pretty cool. While I'm out here checking these light bars out, look what I find in my backyard. I don't know if you can see those or not, but there's three deer right there in the edge of the property. That's at 35 yards away. Zoom back out so you can see the spotlight. Alright, back to testing light bars. Here's the Phillips light bar. Now this tree line back here is 35 yards away from where I'm at. 
You can see we've still got a nice, beautiful, round, focused spot beam. I mean, this thing's just amazing as far as spot beams. And that's just six LEDs. That's that's incredible. And consequently, if you're into illegally poaching deer, apparently there's a really good spotlight for that too. I wouldn't recommend it, just saying. Alright, and here's the Cree LED light bar. Now you can see we don't have that nice round focus spot beam at all. It kind of lights up the whole wood line. But, I mean, at 35 yards, it still gives you quite a bit of light. It does a good job. Got a lot more ambient lighting. It just doesn't go nearly as far and not nearly as focused. Alright, and here we are back out to 65 yards now from the tree line with the Cree LED light bar. Like I said, it's definitely not that nice focused spot beam we get from the Phillips, but it gives you a ton of light. It gives you a lot more ambient lighting than the Phillips. It lights up the tree line pretty good, even at 65 yards. You can actually see it a lot better than you can on the camera, but it's definitely a good light bar. Might not win the spot beam competition, though. Alright, and here's the Phillips light bar. So it's 65 yards. See right up to the top of those trees up there. Still a nice round focused beam. I just can't believe how bright it is for just six LEDs and 30 watts. And that is that is really impressive. Now this doesn't show up on camera as well as I hoped it would, but that pine tree is 165 yards away towards my front yard and it lights up that whole pine tree so you can see my spot beam gets a lot bigger at 165 yards but and that thing really goes the distance so it doesn't show up as good on camera but here's the back of that barn probably 100 yards away and there's that pine tree at 165 yards that is that is amazing so I think as far as the spot beam challenge goes I'm gonna be going with these Phillips LEDs don't get me wrong, the Cree light bar is a good light bar, and you're not going to go wrong by picking one of those. But if you're going for a really good spot beam, this Phillips is definitely the way to go. Alright, and just for the fun of it, here's the Cree LED light bar. Now that tree at 165 yards out, I can kind of make it out. Can't really see it at all on the camera. And the barn, about 100 yards. It lights that up pretty good, but you see it also lights up this whole field in between here and that barn. So it actually lights up that whole 100 yards worth of field and gives you quite a bit of light. So, like I said, this is definitely no slouch of a light bar, especially just for a little 7.5 inch light bar. Just not as good a focused beam as the Phillips bar is. Both pretty good options. Like I said, I'll probably go with the Phillips, but, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with both these light bars. And I will go ahead and put the link to where I got both of them off Amazon in the description below.